Hi everybody. So during this webinar, we are going to be discussing how to get ready for summer with me, hosted by Giovanna Arvido. So I am one of the new estheticians here at Aristocrat Plastic Surgery, and let's get into it. If I can, one second. Okay. So this is a little about me. Um, I've always been interested in the beauty industry, fashion, makeup, all that. But um, I kind of just wanted to be more into like the health side and I'm just all about skin. I want to help your skin get better and just achieve the goals that you're willing to get to. So um, I graduated from, from New York Institute of Beauty in Islandia, Long Island. And I've been here since November, currently working with Aristocrat Plastic Surgery. And by the way, I hope everyone is safe and healthy and happy. <laughs> so this topic, we are gonna be talking about fat reduction. And there's different type of methods that we have here. Um, so we shall get to it. So two types of fat. So subcutaneous fat, which is located under the skin, subcutaneous fat accounts for approximately 90% of overall body fat percentage. And visceral fat is found in between, it found in the abdominal area between the organs. So the fat that we could target, especially in lipo and, and any type of methods, cool sculpting and cryo and all that, it's subcutaneous because that's the easiest fat to target. It's right under the skin. In the organs, that's a little harder. That has to depend on you, your diet, your exercise. But I mean, 90% if we could target subcutaneous, then that's the best one. So cool sculpting. So actually, right now we have somebody who is doing cool sculpting right now in the room and she is allowing us to film her. So we're gonna do it towards the end of the webinar. We are going to film, um, record the end of it. So you can see the results right after and you can see what you could expect. So it's a technical name, cryoliposis, AKA fat freezing. The technology freezes and kills fat cells. Once that happens, your body will naturally eliminate the dead cells in one to three months or more, resulting up to 20% to 25% reduction of fat in the treated area. Candidates who are best for this are patients with pockets of stubborn fat with good skin elasticity. And the recovery, it's completely non-invasive treatment. You can resume normal activities immediately. You may experience light discomfort, for up to 30 minutes after treatments. So cool sculpting is not beneficial for the people who have like that hard belly, that heart really like that's that's like the fat that's like right under the muscle and cool sculpting unfortunately can't target that. So if it's not movable, then cool sculpting is not for you. And the only discomfort with cool sculpting that I've experienced with patients, with clients, um, is the five minutes cold freezing and then they go numb. Um, after the treatment is done, it, when you take off the hand piece, it kind of looks like a frozen stick of butter. Um, so after that, you have to like massage, we have to massage it in, have to, we have to massage all those frozen fat cells. And that's like the only discomforting part within the whole process. After that, they're completely fine and you could go on, continue your day like nothing. So this is some good befores and afters. These are after, this is after the abdom lower abdominal here is right after three treatments. And here are the flanks as well, three treatments, three sessions as well. Um, so just great results. And for the chin, the chin, only needs one to two treatments, depending on the amount of fat that there is. So when you come into our office, and if you're interested in cool sculpting, you sit down, we have a consultation with you, and we decide from there on out how many sessions, how many treatments you may need. But these befores and after is great. And the cool sculpting is great for people who are not interested in surgery. 
So we're going to do the cool sculpting demo later on when this webinar is done. So you guys can see what, what I'm talking about. So another machine that we have here is the tone, the cryo T-Shock. So this is a revolutionary new technology in body contouring, fat elimination, and skin tightening. It is the first non-invasive thermal treatment device of its kind to use thermal shock to erase fat cells, smooth out cellulite, and tighten and tone loose skin. So candidates for this are patients who are in need of access skin tightening or have stubborn fat bulges. So the recovery is completely non-invasive with no downtime. You may experience minor numbness, some redness for about up to 30 minutes following the treatment, but after that, people are completely fine after. 30 minutes the max, but after that, you're completely fine. So this is basically a three-in-one. And with this, it's completely different from the um, cool sculpting. While cool sculpting and this do freeze fat cells and eliminate fat cells. And while those fat cells are frozen, they move through your lymphatic system. So that's how you lose all those fat cells. Um, but this is completely different. This is like a handheld device. So while cool sculpting is a suction, this handheld piece could be any part of your body. Okay. Nouveau diet. So we have our Nouveau diet here from Aristocrat Plastic Surgery. We offer a fully supervised, customizable weight loss program where you can lose up to 40 pounds in 40 days. Dr. Sharmani did it himself and he lost over 40 pounds. So candidates for this are the diet is perfect option for patients who might go undergo a tummy tuck or simply for someone who wants to lose those extra pounds before summer. What to expect? It's a non-fat, low-carb diet tailored to you. It is science-based, and a DNA test will be conducted. It is 100% natural, no drugs or hormones. So if you're wondering, if this is the first time you're hearing about it and you're wondering a DNA test, so basically what we do is uh, we do a DNA test to find out which diet route is best for you. Everything is, it's, it's targets for each individual and how their body needs to be, um, so which is great. And so the Nuvo diet, um, it, even if you're going for a tummy tuck or liposuction and you just want to go the extra mile and diet as well, so you could just transform completely, this is great for that as well. And the best part of this is that if you just want to stick to the Nuvo diet, you don't need a gym. As long as you stick to your diet, then you will lose that weight for sure. Cellulite. So what are what is cellulite? Cellulite is fat deposits beneath the skin, usually appearing on the thighs, hips, buttocks, and stomach. So there's different grades of cellulite. Grade zero clearly is no cellulite. Grade one is smooth skin when standing, but a little bit of an orange peel appearance when sitting. Grade two is skin has an orange peel appearance. And when we say orange peel, we mean like smooth, but like the, the dots, the dimples. So skin, so grade two, skin has orange peel appearance when standing and sitting. Grade three is skin has orange peel appearance when standing with deep raised and depressed areas. So how to treat it. So weight loss, exercise can help reduce cellulite as well as other surgical and non-surgical treatments. And we'll be getting into that as well so in the next couple of slides. Smooth shapes. So what is smooth shapes? Smooth, smooth shapes is a system uses a technology known as photomology, which is a FDA clear to reduce the appearance of cellulite. So candidates for this is if you have noticed cellulite on your body, then you're a good candidate. So what to expect? The treatment is safe and feels similar to a massage using an iron-like device. So as you can see in the picture below, that's the handheld piece that we use. And we just kind of rub it all over your body. And it's a, it's a light suction, but more of a tapping. So there's no recovery time and no special care are required after sm smooth shapes treatments. 
most patients experience no post treatment no post treatment discomfort so smooth shapes if you're looking if you're interested in that and you have like grade 3 grade 4 cellulite then I suggest you come in once a week until you get up to the results that you are looking for. Um, but if you have just light cellulite that you're just looking to control, then once every two weeks, is, it's, it's good enough. Selfina. So Selfina system is the only FDA approved treatment for unwanted cellulite. It's a, it's a safe, in-office procedure with long-lasting results, no downtime, no scarring, and minimal pain. So candidates for this mostly post women who are in particular have undergone childbirth, the increase in the estrogen, in the, in the, sorry, to the increase in the fat storage in the abdominal thighs and buttocks. What to expect? So local anesthesia will be administrated. The dimpled area is vacuumed into the Selfina system and a small microblade is inserted in between the skin and cellulite bands to release the dimples and ensure a much smoother skin appearance. So as you can see in the photo below, there is a diagram on how it actually works and how it collects the fat and restores the bands in the skin. So one of our PAs or nurse practitioners actually do perform this treatment and it is an office. So the difference between Selfina and Smooth Shapes is Smooth Shapes is kind of like a process while Selfina one or two treatments you should be completely good. Lymphatic drainage massage. So a form of a gentle massage that encourage the movement of lymph fluids around the body. The fluid in the lymphatic system helps remove waste and toxins from the bodily tissues. Candidates for this, it's mostly done by our post-op patients in our office, but it can be done on anyone. It's great for people who are experiencing bloating, swelling, or feeling sluggish. What to expect? Lymphatic drainage massage uses very light pressure as well as long, gentle, rhythmic strokes and soft pumping movements in the direction of the lymph nodes. Lymphatic drainage can leave you feeling tired after. So I personally like to get a lymphatic massage once a month just to help release all those toxins that I have. You know, our body is just sometimes we need that extra push and Bloating usually happens, especially with women around our time of the month. So this is great. This just helps so much and you could really see the difference. All right, so now we're getting into skin treatments during the summer. So this is, we're gonna go into products, procedures, all that good stuff. So laser hair removal. A laser emits a light that is absorbed by the pigment, which is the melanin in the hair. The light energy is converted to heat, which damages the tube-shaped sacs within the skin, so the hair follicles that produce hair. This damage inhibits or delays future hair growth. So candidates for laser hair removal works best on clients who have dark, coarse hair, but you don't have to have dark, coarse hair. Um, it just takes it takes a little bit longer for people with lighter hair. So, but we do have our Gentle Ease laser hair removal that is suitable for all skin types. So I know a lot of people have gone to different type of offices and they're go to one if you know, you're know skin type four or above and a lot of people don't wanna take care of you. Well, our machine here is suitable for all skin types. So, which is great. What to expect? You'll see results after your first appointment. In four to six sessions spaced about four weeks apart, you'll see 70, 70 to 80% reduction. For best results, we suggest a series of eight sessions and get maintenance treatments. So after those eight sessions are done, you come in probably like once or twice a year for a maintenance touch-up, but that's about it. Um, 
it's actually really great. So laser hair removal is just one of the best things ever. You, after one treatment, you really do see the difference. If it's not completely gone when you're up from the chair, your hair is syringe, meaning burnt, and it falls off within a week. And it doesn't grow back until three to four weeks later. And that's why you come back and we keep going with your sessions until you're done. And then off after that, all you need is maintenance. So Fraxel Clear and Brilliant. So our Clear and Brilliant is a gentle treatment that uses fractional laser technology that is meant to rejuvenate the skin by addressing early signs of facial aging, sun damage, tone, texture, and can even minimize pore size. So candidates for the Clear and Brilliant, so it fits a broad range of candidates who are looking to up their skin game. It's designed to be used on all skin types and tones. This includes patients with deeper complexions. So what can you expect after a clear and brilliant session. So it's gentle Fraxel laser, so there's no downtime. You may notice your skin is slightly pink, but normal nonetheless. We advise using a gentle cleanser and moisturizer twice daily after this treatment. So the Fraxel clear and brilliant is probably my favorite just because um, when you, if you're interested in starting out in lasers, but you're kind of scared, you don't want to do something too abrasive, but you want the same results, the Fraxel Clear and Brilliant has to be up there. Like it is, it's not that, it's not painful. It's a little bit discomforting, but we do apply a local numbing for you. You sit with that local, you come in the office, you sit with the local numbing for about 15 minutes, and then we start and the process itself, the whole process, it's about 20 minutes. So in total, you're in our office about 35, 40 minutes the most, just because the 15 minutes with the local numbing. Um, but after that, you know, you may be a little bit red right after. We give you some ice. We have a cooling machine to help you cool down. Um, and then you're left a little pinkish. But people just love the clear and brilliant. They, you know, if they're, babies and they don't really want to do like the the harsh lasers they definitely do the clear and brilliant and also um a lot of laser treatments aren't good for melasma and this is one that's great for melasma the hydrofacial so what is the hydrofacial so the hydrofacial is a beautifying yet luxe treatment improves that improves your texture and tone of your skin and works to rejuvenate and hydrate the skin. The hydrofacial works deep in the skin layer to treat fine lines and wrinkles, congested pores, excess oils, dark spots, and acne. So candidates. So it's effective on all skin types. What to expect? This treatment, this treatment deeply cleans, extracts, and hydrates the skin using our super serums filled with antioxidants, peptides, and hyaluronic acid. There's absolutely no downtime. Your skin may be slightly, not even red, a little bit pink, but in about 10 minutes, it calms down and goes away. It's just from all the friction, but the hydrofacial is a really deep cleanse. So not only does it reach down into your pores and suck out all that oil and dirt, it also infuses, infuses the solute, like, hyaluronic acid and, and the peptides, which is good. So a lot of people have get their pores cleared out and then they just have like this nice plumpy glow to their skin and face. So injectables. So right now we are going to be going to the different types of injectables that we have in our office and the ones that are popular during the summertime as well. So Botox, so, so for Botox for hyperhidrosis is the medical term for excessive sweating. So Botox has been FDA approved for people who sweat excessively from their armpits. It may also be used off label to reduce sweating in other areas such as hands, feet, and face. So candidates for this, you may be a candidate for Botox if your sweating fails to improve with prescription antiperspirants. What to expect? 
injections don't take long and can be completed during an office visit. The Botox will be injected just below the surface of the skin using a very fine needle. You may receive something to prevent pain like ice or a numbing agent. So this is great for especially like if you really do have this um, medical term, um, hydrosis, then you can go to um, your doctor and ask for them to run it through the insurance and insurance may even cover this. So this is actually really great. So you don't wanna be using so much deodorant with that clogs pores, you could definitely go for this. So Botox, Dysphore, and Zeman. So using using a injecting like Botox, Dysphore, Zeman around the eyes can restore a youthful look and reduce the impact of squinting. These injections work to relax the muscles and reduce wrinkles and fine lines down the road. If you are noticing wrinkles or fine lines around the eyes, especially in the summer, as we tend to squint more with the sun, you may be a candidate. There's no downtime. You will likely receive a local numbing agent during this treatment and you will see results within five to seven days. So a lot of people come in for around crow lines right here and for the 11. So you see how in the picture she is frowning and she has those deep lines here. Those are called the 11 lines. So Botox really helps with that. And that's it. So let's go to the next one. Fillers. So derma fillers like Juvederm, Radius, and Versa are great options for summer because there is no skin resurfacing with the treatment. Numerous, numerous skin treatments involve resurfacing or peeling of the skin, leaving the skin defensiveless to sun damage. Sun exposure after skin resurfacing can also result in darkening of the skin. Frillers are a great way to look rejuvenated without risking the sun damage that comes with skin resurfacing. So candidates for fillers are any patient who is experiencing fine lines or wrinkles or is just looking for an added plump without the downtime of facing the sun's UV rays. So what you can expect is typically using a numbing agent before the treatment, fillers are injected into the area of concern and the results will be immediate. Just a little FYI, estheticians are not doing injections. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. So our PAs, our nurse practitioners, our Dr. Tremani, they provide the injections. So they do the Botox, they do the fillers. And fillers, while you can't do chemical peels in the summer, um, fillers are a great alternative for the plump look, for the fine lines and wrinkles. So fillers are my favorite. All right, so now we are getting into the skin and body procedures, uh, products, sorry, my little thing is covering this. <laughs> so breaking out with masks. So I'm calling this is, so instead of acne, it's mask acne. It's an acne brought on by wearing a mask, by wearing a face mask, which is typically physically Physical type of breakouts that results from excessive friction usually happens to people who are acne prone and have sensitive skin. So how to treat it. So masks already trap humidity, dirt, oil, and sweat. Our chin, mouth, and nose area are even more prone to, bro to breakouts as summer approaches. So, you know, Luckily, you can make some easy adjustments by just upping your skincare routine and just taking care of your skin. Just because you're wearing a mask doesn't mean you are protected. Like I said, that mask is trapping humidity, it's trapping dirt, it's trapping your oil, it's trapping your sweat. So you have to be on top of your skincare. Um, and you could use, what we have here is our gentle, daily gentle cleanser. This is one of my favorite. It has antibacterial agents. So this helps for the deep cleanse. And it also has um, shea butter. So to soothe and moisturize the skin. 
So this is actually really great. I use about two pumps of this morning and night. So not only does it give me a nice cleanse, it also, it also moisturizes my skin as well. But that doesn't mean to skip the moisturizer. <laughs> so exfoliating. Exfoliating through this time is so important. You want to get rid of all that dirt, all that trapped oil, all that dead skin. So what we have here is our APS micro exfoliating pads. So these pads you can use daily right after you cleanse and you always want to exfoliate at night. You never want to exfoliate during the day. So after you cleanse your face at night, you just pass one of these pads and just like that, normal all over your face, your neck, your chest, your decollete. And it just gives you a nice finish clean and it also helps remove all that dirt, oil, and dead skin cells. And also, if you're, if you're not interested in the pads, we also have our deep cleansing scrub. So this, you could clean your face, so not only does it cleanse, it also exfoliates because it has these microbeads. And I can't. So while you're cleansing, where's the camera right there? You give it a nice cleanse and it also helps exfoliate as well. So you could use this one two to three times a week. So this is great as well. And moisturizing, you do not want to skip moisturizing. Um, our moisturizer here is our APS Moisture Drench and it has green tea in it. It has vitamin E, vitamin C, which is great. It's very hydrating. You want to be hydrated through this time. Do not skip out on your moisturizer. Also, something not to skip out on, SPF is your BFF. So here in APS, we have two different um, sunscreens. So we have our APS Sheer Body Mist Sunscreen, SPF 50. It's water resistant. It protects you from the UVA and UVB rays. So if you don't know what UVA and UVB is, um, think of it like this. UVA is aging rays. They age you faster. And UVB is the burning rays. That's what darkens your skin. And none of them are good. We do not like UVA, UVB. And the great thing about this is that it protects you from both. Both of our sunscreens protect you from both. So they're free of alcohol, oil, fragrance, and parabens. So it's a pure physical sunscreen. So that means it has mineral zinc oxide up to 12% and goes on sheer. So this is it right here. And it sprays as a sunblock. But when you put it on, actually, let me use my other hand because I've been using this hand for everything. So right here, so it sprays on like a sunblock, but as you rub, when it says it goes on sheer, it means like the shine. So it's like very nice. I like to use it all over my body. Um, so this one's great. And the good thing about our sunblock is medical grade. So you're not gonna find mineral zinc oxide up to 12% in stores. You're only gonna find them in doctor's offices and we have that right here. So another sunblock that we have is our daily defense sunscreen. So this one has moisturizing base with powerful hydrators such as squalene and hyaluronic acid. So the highest level of broad broad spectrum of UVA and UVB SPF 50 coverage. It has antioxidants, it's enriched formula, it's clean application, no white streaks, and it's also fast absorbing. So this is great for sensitive skin. I like to use this on my face, and then I use the body sheer mist, the body mist, of course, on my body. But this one's great, and it's also great, I like to use it as a face primer. You never want to go out of your house without having SPF. And if you are one of the people that like to use makeup as an excuse, no, SPF can be used as your, well, this one can be used as a face primer as well. Okay, 
And now we have our APS Magic Booty Cream. So get your bikini booty ready. APS Magic Booty Cream, specially made to gently lighten the private area with natural ingredients so, such as kojak acid, which is exfoliates and brightens the skin, vitamin A, arbutane, and aloe. So for best results, you use twice a day. This one's really good. I like to use this one as well on my inner thighs because that's where, for some reason, as I got older, just that little area got a little darker and it's helped a lot. This one's great. So also, I forgot to mention the difference in sunscreens. Let me just go back to, whoa, I'm supposed to go back. Okay. Well, the difference in sunscreens, before I get into the back knee kit, so there's two different types of sunscreens. There's chemical and physical. And chemical absorbs into the skin and absorbs the UV ray that converts into heat. So if you ever sprayed on like a chemical sunscreen, like the, like, I don't know, I think a lot of people have it now, like banana bow and, and everything else. Um, but it's literally like a film that covers your skin and it just traps so much heat. So you definitely want to go for a physical sunscreen. That's why our sunscreens are the best. So, okay, now back to APS back knee. Back to back knee. <laughs> so sweat and dirt happen everywhere on your body, especially in the summer. And if you're acne prone, then you probably have back knee. So say hello to our back knee kit, which includes a back knee wash, which is a which is a phenoxyl peroxide um, peroxide wash. It's therapeutic combination of benzoyl peroxide with aloe vera gel. So our back knee spray, and it's great to spray on affected areas with skin enhancement properties like glycolic acid. And the good thing about the back knee spray is that it could spray upside down. So for areas that are hard to reach, you could just reach over and spray your back, which is great. And it comes with a chamois. So this is used to help exfoliate and cleanse the skin on your back and affected areas. So personally, I like to put the wash on, on the chamois and just kind of just scrub along, scrub my back with it and then rinse off, wait until it's completely dry and then use the spray. APS Body Butter. So this body lotion contains a rich blend of antioxidants formulated to achieve a softer, smoother skin texture and tone. This light oil-free body lotion contains 50% glycolic acid and antioxidants generally to exfoliate dry, rough skin. Contains vitamin A, C, E, and green tea extract. So it's gluten and oil and fragrance free. So after cleansing your skin, you apply the desired amount you want twice or once or twice daily. So this is great. I love this lotion as well. So APS body polishing treatment. So short skirts, stretch marks, cellulite. Oh my. <laughs> The exfoliation buffs away old, worn out skin cells so your body can replace them with new ones. It won't sap your stretch marks away, but it'll make them look less visible. It also improves the circulation of blood and lymph to the surface of the skin, helping to fight cellulite and improve your skin tone. So this product has 10% glycolic and 0.5% salicylic acids, arbutane and biofriendly microbeads that gently slug off dull, damaged skin to improve clarity and radiance. So if you're, in, if you're using salt, body salts, um, body sugar scrubs, you know, um, th sometimes they're a little bit too rough on the skin and you can't really use them as much as you would like. This polishing treatment has fine microbes. So I like to use this twice a week and it really does help. It helps makes you renew your skin. It gives you a nice glow and it helps with the dark stretch marks and helps, you know, the blood circulation with the movement and the massaging in it. it it's actually really great. I like to keep it in the shower and do it when I'm done. So, okay. 
products to avoid during the summer. So you want to avoid HD slash full coverage foundation and replace it with lightweight BB cream, tinted moisturizer, and mineral foundation. So the reason why you don't want to wear full coverage in the summer is because it's hot out and you're sweating and you're just, you're, when it's hot out, your pores are open and that foundation is going into your pores, clogging them. So when you're crying about your breaking out, then, you know, that's the reason. And it, you know, just, it, sucks because sometimes people want to cover up their acne and their breakouts with full coverage, but that's really not the best bet to do it. Just put on tinted moisturizer, put on your mineral foundation, and stick to that. Okay, another thing to avoid is products that have ingredients such as mineral oil, silicone, and petroleum jelly, all of which can cause buildup within the skin. Common essential oils like bergamot, bitter orange, grapefruit, lemon, lime, and mandarin leaf all should also be avoided in large amounts. If you're not diluting them, then these will cause more harm than good if you're into essential oils. So your skin is your largest organ. Protect it with SPF, but avoid greasy sunscreens. Okay. Oh, greasy sunscreens are just very com comogenic. They're going to clog your pores and you want to be with an oil-free sunscreen like ours. So another thing to avoid is too much sunbathing. Tanning causes premature aging of the skin, causing wrinkles and that tight, leathery look. So you don't want to be, I know it's summertime, I know you want to get dark, I know there's a lot of um, sunbathers out there, but you really want to protect your skin. And if you don't want to look, if you don't want to age fast, then you have to stay away from the sun. 20 minutes of sun a day is perfectly fine. If you go more than that, then you're causing more harm than good. And that's all for today, but we are going to go look into our, let me see what time is it? She has three more minutes and she's gonna be done. So we're gonna go in with a cool scope thing and check her out. But at this time, I guess we could take questions if you guys have any. So, also we are now taking appointments for our in-office treatments. So that's exciting. Give me one second so I could pull up your questions. Oh, I can pull it up. Hey, Giovanna, great job. So we had some questions that were written in prior to the webinar and anyone else who's listening, you can write your questions in, in the chat for Giovanna to answer. So we had a couple. Um, this one's a pretty good one. I think we get this question a lot. Can you explain the difference between cool sculpting and liposuction? So the difference is clearly cool sculpting is non-invasive. It's not a surgery while liposuction is. Um, but liposuction is for immediate results. If you're looking just to get one and done, then liposuction it is because cool sculpting does take time for those uh, frozen fat cells to release from your body and gradually you start to you start to notice a difference so like we said before it takes you'll start seeing results within two to three months while liposuction you're getting those fat cells you're getting that fat out right away so that's the difference mm -hmm. between those two okay good to know will cool sculpting get rid of cellulite on the back of the thighs someone asked okay so cool sculpting um our hand pieces there is for, it's like probably like this big. So if you have a bulge, usually people who, who do the cool sculpting on the thighs want to get it right under the buttocks and right where the thigh starts. There's like a little bulge area. So that area is great um, and it will help with cellulite in that area. But if you have cellulite on your larger portion, there is no handpiece for cool sculpting to grab a lar that large of amount on your thigh. I suggest smooth this um, the smooth beam. That one's great. Um, 
and also the Selfina. And with the cryo, the cryo's great. Cryo's great for freezing the fat cells, it's great for cellulite, and it's great for tightening the skin as well. So the smooth shapes, um, smooth shapes cryo, and the Selfina is great for cellulite for the thighs. Okay, thank you. And then we have one more question, and then maybe um, I know you're going to see how your patient's doing, but the last question is, how soon can you be in the sun after laser hair removal? So you don't want to go to the sun right away. Um, usually, I would say 10 days, 10 to 14 days. But either way, you want to be very protecting of your skin. You don't want to go to the sun without any SPF on it, you know? So SPF, but yes, 10 days away from the sun after laser hair removal treatments. Okay, thank you so much. So I guess, yeah, we would love to see how uh, your pool sculpting patient is doing. Yeah, so let me get ready while um, we do that. I am gonna put on some protective gear, make sure I am safe and she's safe through, through this whole COVID time. I, I'm willing to answer any more questions if anybody has. So how long was her treatment and what was she getting done? So she is getting her lower abdominal done. Um, so she has a bit a of a difficult bulge right here in this area. Just a little small bulge that she wanted to get rid of that's really hard for her. Um, and it's, it takes about 60 minutes. So about almost each body part of the pool scoping actually, actually takes 60 minutes. Some, some take 90 but majority is 60 minutes. Okay. I'm just going to take the MacBook with me to the room so we can see how she's doing. I hope everyone is safe and healthy out there and getting ready for the summer. I know it's been hard being home throughout this whole time with Everybody being home, so you need your pantry, you need your fridge fully stocked. And I know everybody hasn't been good. I mean, I haven't for sure. If you have been, then you need an award because I have been chewing on my son's snacks like there's no tomorrow. And I'm actually gonna start the new bowl diet. So that's gonna be fun. So I am fully prepared, mask, hairnet, gown, gloves and we are going to be checking on my patient hi so right now she has the full scoping on her say hi Crystal. okay i'm gonna set this down right here Right on time. So I have usually I put a box here to help set the handheld piece and so the patient can be comfortable as well. Okay. And then I am going to release the piece.
let me, let me, I'm just gonna lay her down a little bit just so you can see what we did. Hey, Giovanna, do you think you can speak up a little? I think it, we're having a little difficulty hearing. So do you see how we put this to protect the skin? You may experience minor bruising, which is normal from all the suction, but this area is completely frozen. She is numb, yeah. numb. Yeah, how do you feel? Numb. <laughs> so, so the only discomfort that people usually feel is when I start to rub on it. How does it feel? It's uncomfortable, but I wouldn't say painful. Okay, that's great, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the reason why we massage it is because we have to massage that bulge down and it helps re remove all those frozen fat cells so it could go into the lymphatic system and release naturally how her body would naturally release toxins and waste. So it's just two minutes of this. So you see how it's red, it doesn't look as hard as it did when we first took it out. Looks like a stick of butter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Usually that's how I describe it, like a stick of butter. So just massaging like that. And it kind of just goes back to normal. So we are going to keep updated on this. Like I said, usually you see results within two to three months. The body has to naturally get rid of the frozen fat cells. And that's it. So you are going to be a little reddish. You are going to experience a little some numbness af right after. But after a while, your, it comes right back. Your skin tone comes right back to normal later on today. And you should start feeling again by tonight. So, but she's fine. There's no pain. Just as she said, a little bit discomforting. But that's it. And this was her stubborn area that she wanted to target. So that's what we did. Okay. And that's it. So we're all done now. Is there any more questions? I don't think so, but thank you so much. Um, you know, good news. Our Great Neck office is now open. We're doing surgeries. We can do in-office treatments. So feel free to schedule something with us. So we're still waiting to hear when our Manhattan office will be open, but Giovanna is gonna be here to do some treatments. Dr. Tarani, Luisa, our nurses are here. Um, so we're super excited. Thank you, Giovanna. You're welcome. Thank you for tuning in. Bye. Bye.